Hey world, what's up? Welcome back. I'm Sporty Black. This is Dog Talk Podcast where we talk mostly exclusively UGA football and SEC football. But today we're going to do something a bit different. I'm going to give y'all my top 10 list for college football, my poll, right? So this poll is the only one that matters because the AP poll is biased. The coaches poll is biased. My poll is very unbiased and it's the closest thing you're going to get to um, identifying the top 10 schools in America, you know, um, on the FBS level. Okay, so with no further ado, before I get to my poll, let me give you a few of the variable, variables and the metrics and analytics that I use for my poll. And what I do is I look at what you got coming back from last year, meaning how many players you lost, the impact of those players, like how many returning starters, how many returning lettermen, and then what you got coming in for, what was your recruiting ranking, and how many blue chips, meaning four or five star recruit that you brought into your roster, right? So, because my poll, depth means a lot. And it also, my poll is reflection of what have you done on the field this year, right? So, with no further ado, number 10 on my list is the University of Central Florida. University of Central Florida, they went undefeated last year. They got no respect from the polls. They was totally, you know, people was biased toward them. And they basically just kept them out because the program didn't have enough tradition and um, prestige to warrant being in the conversation of the playoffs. But their play on the field and some of the team they beat showed that they were worthy of at least being in the conversation, right? So, you know, they went on one undefeated, they beat Auburn, and then they declared themselves the national champs. Now, I don't agree with that because Alabama beat Georgia for the championship, so the Tide were the champs and are the champs, right? But UCL, they had a legit claim. So this year, they returned a lot of starters. They brought in a, a, a really good recruiting class, and um, they are, you know, head and shoulder, the best team in the state of Florida. And we all know the state of Florida play good football. They produce great football players. But right now, the reality is UCL is the best team in Florida, hands down. <laughs> I don't think that's debatable. Okay, number nine on my list uh, is Washington. I think Washington is one of the best teams in the Pac-12, and I think they got a legit shot of making the playoff if they run the table and win their conference because they lost to Auburn. If that's the only loss on their record as a conference champion, uh, that's very impressive because that was a very competitive game week one against Auburn, right? So I got them at number nine. Number eight, um, I got the other school out of the Pac-12, which is Stanford. Stanford um, had a great um, quality win last week against um, USC. Anytime you can beat a top 20 USC team, that's a legit win in the landscape of college football, right? I think Stanford, um, they're well coached. I think they're the most uh, second most physical team in the Pac-12 behind Washington. And I love their running game, and I love Bryce Love. So I got them at number eight. Number seven, I have the Auburn Tigers. Uh, I think Auburn is the biggest threat to Alabama in the SEC West. Uh, but I think, you know, Auburn got a lot of big tests coming up real soon. So you really get a chance to see how good Auburn really is. But I'm going to give Auburn the respect that's due for them scheduling the kind of schedule that they have this year. I think Auburn might have the hardest schedule in college football this year. So if they make it to the playoff, believe me, they earned it. So I got them at number seven. Number six, I got the Wisconsin Badgers. Wisconsin coming off a great year last year, one of the best years in school history. And I think um, they're continuing to go off of that momentum, you know, they returned their entire offensive line and their running back, and that is their identity on offense. They just want to, you know, just blow y'all the ball and run it down your throat coming downhill on you. And I think they're sound in the kicking game, and I like their coaches. So um, I got them number six. Number five is the Ohio State Buckeyes. Now, Ohio State, a lot of, a lot of people felt like they should have made the playoff last year. I don't think they should have. The loss to Iowa, 
eliminated them in my mind. So, but that's a whole nother topic. This year though, they returned a lot of starters and they also um, recruited a great class, man. And I think um, the quarterback they have now, I think he's light years ahead of um, JT Barrett. So they got better at the quarterback position. So look for Ohio State to make some noise this year. I got them at number five. Number four, I got Oklahoma. Oklahoma made it to the playoff last year, and um, they've been running the Big 12 for the last four, five years, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. The quarterback they got, he's good. Um, he's going to um, play big league baseball next year, so he got the one shot to try to do something special this year. So I think they're going to give it all they got this year. Not to mention they got um, people from the NFL coming in, talking to the offensive Coaches and um, Lincoln Riley, the head coach, about different offensive philosophies for the NFL. So, you know, their offense is very innovative. So, you got to give your props, prop do. So, I got them at number four. Number three, I got Clemson Tigers coming in at number three. They had a big win at Texas A&M. Anytime you can win on the road, you, if you can get a win against a quality SEC West opponent, in their own home, that's a quality win. So, um, shout out to them for that. Um, we already know how good Clemson has been for the last four or five years. We know that they're the best team. Matter of fact, might be the only team in the ACC this year. Um, and then for its quality of roster and just depth, oh man, <laughs> they elite. <laughs> they 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 elite. They deep. So yeah, they number three. Um, and I look at their schedule, and it, and I, they in the playoff. I, I ain't no other way around it. Uh, number two on my list would be my beloved Georgia Bulldogs. We had a great, impressive, dominant win on the road in South Carolina last week. You know, just basically to show people that, yeah, we still here. We haven't left. Last year wasn't um, a one-shot thing. It wasn't a, a flash in a bottle. Lightning in the bottle, whatever phrase they trying to say, or what what the damn mother say, or a blind squirrel caught a nut. <laughs> but his blind squirrel could all uh, beat Kentucky. The first time in 31 years, they lost to Kentucky. But that's another story, too. So George is number two on my list. Um, I don't even got to go on and on and on about the board out, so you already know how I feel about them. And I do enough in-depth analysis on them for you to already know how I feel about them. So they are number two, and I think it will be Alabama and Georgia in the SEC championship game for a chance to go on to the uh, college football playoff. It may be a chance to get both teams in, you know, but that's another topic as well. So therefore, number one would be the um, University of Alabama, the Crimson Tide. Uh, the Tide look good. They are the defending champs. They lost a lot, which they always do. Uh, a lot of players went to the NFL. A couple coaches left, but that's an every year thing. Alabama, they basically just reload, bringing a bunch of more five stars. And the one that been waiting in the wing, they just step up and resume the regular schedule dominance. You know, so that's just what it is. They're the number one team. And, um,. They just the king of the hill, somebody knock them off, you know. So that's my top 10 um, college football teams in America. I need y'all to jump in the comment section and let me know, do you agree or do you disagree? And, um, you know, tell me some of y'all list, the top five or top 10. It don't matter. Just drop it below. Um, other than that, that's about all I got. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button. I mostly do hip-hop commentary. I'm going to warn you now. But I also do college football. And all my college football stuff on my channel is located under the playlist titled Dog Talk. So um, check me out. I'm Sporty Black. I'm gone. Go Dogs.